Hello everyone, Happy New Year. My name's Finn and welcome to my journey to a future closer to boat building and sailing. So in this episode, I have my dad visit to lend a bit of a hand. I'm also going to discuss with you guys my plans for power in the barn and trying to produce as much of my own power as I can. So be sure to stick around to find out more about all of these and let's get to it. Okay, so for the front wall, I've got to put a central beam up underneath the top plate, which is a big beam that I've made up. Um, central beam is going to be supported by a concrete foot, which these four triangles I've just made, um, I'm going to just fix together and mix up some concrete and pour a little cone shaped block and it drop a string line down from the beam so I know exactly where it's going to land, um, concrete that in, that just gives me a good foot in for the beam to sit on, it's not going to go anywhere and when it comes to taking the boat out the beam can just be unbolted and the foot can be lifted and just moved out of the way so we can get the boat out. So let's get this fixed together.
So I need to say a thank you to one of you guys who watches the videos. Um, on my Amazon wish list, I'd put on this Petzl head torch. Um, as you can tell, I've not got much lighting in here at the moment and trying to do things in the evening as we're in the winter. Um, you know, it's becoming quite tricky with how much light and having this head, tor head torch will be a great help in it to enable me to keep going and just crack on, get the last few bits done in the dark until I can get my lighting sorted. I don't actually know who it was who bought it because there wasn't a message to say, but if you're watching, thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. Okay, so being in a boatyard where there is tons of people working and lots of electric cables and power running about the place, so quite a lot of electricity is being used. I've been trying to figure out ways in which I can power the space as much as I can using the wind and solar power. So I was sitting having a chat with a chap the other day about my plans to try and make the workshop as green as possible. He then told me that he had a brand new Future Energy 1 KVA 5 foot turbine that had never been used. Um, it was bought a couple of years ago with the plans to set up a stage for venues powered only by the sun and wind. Um, but sadly it was never completed and had been left sitting inside a barn for the last couple of years. So he's very kindly donated this wind turbine to me and a few other bits that go with it in order to get it connected up and creating my own power. So what we've got here behind me is a five foot Future Energy 1 KVA turbine. It's got a continuous magnet, which means even at low speed, it will still be creating power and charging up the batteries. It also comes with a self-snapping tail fin on the back, so in really high winds the tail will fold round and turn the head out of the wind so it's not overworking the motor and burning it all out. So it's also come with a 2000 watt inverter and then behind here we've also got a dump load. And dump loads are used on deep cycle systems to protect the batteries from getting damaged through overcharging. So this means that basically is when the turbine's still turning, if I haven't switched off the kill switch to stop it actually charging, um, it means that any excess power that is drawn into the batteries in the bank will get dumped off out on this dump load and just risks any damage to the, any of the parts. So I'd just like to say a huge thanks to Chris for donating this to me. I'm really excited to get it connected up and be creating some of my own power.
unfortunately that's all I've got time for in this episode uh, as I'm about to head up to London for a couple of weeks uh, where I've got some maintenance work to do on a yurt cafe that we built about five years ago when I used to work for my parents company yurt shop which is great because it will give me enough money to get on with the next stages of the barn build. So I just want to take this time to thank all of you that have shown so much support towards my project so far by subscribing to my channel and liking and leaving comments it really helps to grow the channel and a huge thanks to those of you that have become the first lot of patrons of mine which will really help out with upgrading some of my camera equipment and any other bits that might be needed as the project unfolds also need to say thanks to those of you that have very kindly donated some of the things from my Amazon wish list. So if you've enjoyed watching my journey up to this point and haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and the little bell beside it to get notified of my next releases and give it a thumbs up. It's a free and easy way to support my project. Thank you all again for watching and see you next time.